But we've been known for high reliability of our products for many, many years. Okay. And this technology has been developed over 10 years. So we have 10 years invested into this and $20 million. And we also did two and a half years of field trials all over the world. So this has been tested, it's been proven, and it's been checked out very highly long before we've watched it. Today, when you're starting to use our system, you may have a cutting nozzle, you may have a gouging shield, you may have a fine cut swirl ring, and then you might have the settings of the machine wrong. That happens all the time. That's what this was designed to do, so that you could mix and match the parts inappropriately and get the wrong ones for cutting the wrong stuff. That way you're maximized up the form. These are our new cartridge technology consumables. Um, they're one piece where today, all of our consumables, there's five parts that go into a torch. Going forward, we're only going to have one part. It's this cartridge technology. What you're holding, if you look inside, you'll see there's a little chip in there. That's an RFID chip. The RFID chip is there to use information and communicate to our power supply and to our torch. It also is there for tracking information on what's going on. You'll notice it's in, it's in cutting mode now. The reason I know that is because in the top right switch, it's green on the two cutting positions. When I change it, now I took it off, the amber light's on. When I go to put the, the gouging cartridge in, you'll see now it changes now. Just by changing the cartridge, you automatically set the power supply. So, by changing it from this cartridge, it's can cutting, to the green cartridge, which is gouging, I have not only told the power supply I'm changing applications, but it automatically sets the air pressures for what it needs to be because they're different for each application. It's dummy proof. It's dummy proof. We don't have to do a thing. I put this on there. When I pull that trigger, that has now reset the machine. I did not walk over there. Normally today, when you take our systems and you take the parts out, you have to go back to the power supply and turn them on and off again to reset it. You don't have to do that anymore. You can do it right here. That's the difference between the old stuff and the new stuff. Shall we cut? Yeah. All right. cut stainless pretty good? Oh yeah, we're gonna cut some right now. Okay. <laughs>